Good morning and welcome. Today I thought we'd take a quick little walk through the volunteer tree orchard. And we're going to start here with this is a peach tree, very old peach tree. Looking pretty rough at this point. Uh, let's see, but this tree produces all of the peaches that I need plus another family. Just me by myself, but we see it's starting to buds are starting to try to open there and there's some maize squirrels come in here and feast and we see where they've buried a lot of seeds here need to get in here and cut some of these out figure out who i'm going to leave because this tree don't have very long to go we have our pecan here another one of our uh, seedling trees this is a seedling pecan now I have plenty of good trees for apples and pears and such, so I don't mind messing with these here uh, volunteers. With that peach tree behind that we first started with, gives us all the peaches. We can play with these peach seedlings. Uh, I don't have to graft them over. I will be grafting some early, uh, later on uh, because that one's getting old and it's very, very productive. But this here is just a seedling. It doesn't produce well. You should probably take it out. Here's another seedling. These two don't produce. These are more of a nectarine looking thing. And they always crack. It's, when you use seedling trees, often they're very different from the parent tree. Because these trees here, these two, our offspring of that first tree. That first tree has nice big peaches like that. These have little nectarines. So, uh, you can get that when you're dealing with seedlings. This used to be a chicken uh, run here. And outside of the chicken run, we have these two here. Uh, again, they're offspring of that first tree. This one here is again that small uh, nectarine type fruit cracks this one here will come out but this one next to it is another nice peach that's they're big they're beautiful peach out of the same pits same year there's just a lot of variability uh, back here this is another one it's a little bit younger than those two that we just looked at and this one has really nice big peaches but we can see it is breaking bud really early we don't like to see that this time of year we like this guy to stay dormant uh, this one here i have noticed every year it's early it's early if we get a late frost uh, we don't get peaches off of this small tree but when we do get peaches they're very nice Here are some seedling apples. They need to be pruned and trained. But they're seedlings. You don't really know what you're going to get till they start to bear fruit. Last year, this tree bared one apple. It was a pretty good apple, um, but small green apple. Uh, but it was a really good apple. So we'll see what it does. This tree here, these are all the same age. And I just threw some apple cores in the pots, and that's how I ended up with these guys. This one here has yet to bear. I do expect this tree to bloom as we are starting to see some little fruiting spurs show up. So hopefully we'll get some blooms on this one. We'll be able to see what it is. And this is, we'll go to the last tree we're going to look at. And this one here, more the year before. This has bore two years. Not a lot of apples yet. We have started to train some limbs. I got to do some pruning on this guy. With seedlings, you don't want to prune do too much too early. Uh, because we'll be cutting off this wood that we need to make the fruiting spurs. We need to get this grown. And 
Kind of don't get too excited. This one here, I'll come in and I'll have to dig out some of these. Oh, this should come out probably. You know, we'll thin it out a little bit, open it up, do some scaffold work on this tree. But this is another volunteer tree. It, apples were a little bigger, and these were red. Uh, end up being about that big. I've only got a few off of here. Don't know what it's going to really be yet. Now, here's the thing. All three of these trees are out of the same apple. Uh, all three trees came out of the same apple core. The seeds out of the same apple. This one here is larger and red. Smaller and green so far. It's green. It's going to be a green apple. This one here is a nice red. And we don't know yet. And when we grow from seed on our fruit trees, that is uh, what we're going to run into. We just don't know what we're going to get. Just as with our peaches, they all came off the same tree, uh, but they're all different. And with these apples, we get the same thing. So we can graft these, and I have a lot of grafted trees. I got plenty of grafted apple and pear that will give me all the fruit that I need. But it's a lot of fun to play with these seedlings and see what we get. Uh, you know, it, it's just, we can get something new. Doesn't cost us hardly anything to do this. And it's a lot of fun. So go out there. Have some fun. Play around with some of this stuff. You know, you want to, if you got the room, and you want to have a little orchard and don't want to spend a lot of money, do put in a few grafted trees. But don't be afraid to play with some seedlings either. You might be pleasantly surprised every so often. I mean, the majority of them are not going to be great, but every so often you'll get a nice surprise. And with that, stay safe, have fun, and above all, keep growing.